how it, hey YouTubers, Holiday Chero on here, and I'm going to be doing a braces tag today, so let's go ahead and get into it. And of course, if you don't have braces, I wouldn't recommend doing this tag until you get one, or um, you can watch this if you are going to get, are eventually going to have to get braces and like need help, like, or need, or like want to know like information and stuff, or just watch this if you want to, so um, there are 17 questions, and let's go and get into it. First question, when did you get your braces on? I got them on December 16, 2010. So it's almost been a year. I've got five, six months to go till I get them on. And I am super excited. Like, when I get them off, oh my gosh, I think I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe go crazy. Second question, um, how soon after did you get them on? Could you feel the pressure aching? Okay, so first of all, I would say, um, I don't know what. It is with me and my hands. They're just like constantly moving. So you know what? I'm gonna sit on them, and I'm gonna try not to, try not to use them because you guys are probably getting sick and tired of that. Um, how how soon after you got them on could you feel the pressure or pain or aching? Um, I don't know. Pain tolerance for everybody is way different. Sometimes people are like, oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. And I'm like, no, that didn't hurt. Or it's like, no, it's gonna, you know. So pain tolerance is different for everybody, but um. It didn't hurt in the moment when they got them on, but soon after the day, as the day went on, and as the day went on, and then the next day was awful. So day two is gonna really like suck, and I mean there's nothing really you could do about it. I mean you can take Tylenol or they usually pres prescribe what kind of like you can take. Um, but I don't know, those don't really work on my teeth. I don't know why it just doesn't help me help my teeth like to not f hurt so much. So, but um, I would definitely say it does kind of hurt the next days. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, how bad was the pain for you? Okay, the first day it was about like a 5. And then it slowly went on to like a 7. And then um, by like the next day and the next few days it was like a hands down 10. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be honest, it, it was not fun. What kinds of food do you eat, oh, question number four, what kinds of food do you eat when you first got your braces? Um, soft foods basically, so what I had to do, my process, everybody's process is different with their mouth, if you have to get braces, I had to get a spacer first, I had to get an expander, and then I had to get braces. Spacers are literally little, um, I'm trying to think what I can show you. It's like a little tiny circle, and they go like right here, like right there. That probably was an epic feel. It goes like in the back there, and it just spaces out your teeth getting ready to put your expander on. Now, you guys may not have to have this. You guys may just be able to get like braces like that or something else, but this was just the process for me. Then they had to put the expander on. Oh my gosh, the ex first of all, the spacer was nothing. That was just, felt like you had something in your teeth. That was all. Then they take those out and they put the expander in, and it's a metal appliance. Let me get a picture to show you guys. And while I'm trying to find a picture of it, I'll finish talking. Um, okay, I'm going to get a picture to show you guys because I can't really, um, expander. So I can't really, like, describe it. Okay, it looks like this. Uh, let me find a good picture to show you. Alright, so anyways, for your... Hit enter. I'm trying to find a good one to show you guys. Without you guys getting freaked out. Alright, this is what it looks like. That would look like looking up at the roof of your mouth. Okay, but um, I'll find a different picture that does not look like that. But anyways, it's really hard because the food gets stuck in there at first and you're like, whoa, like how do I get the food that's way up in there out of my mouth? So it takes a while for your mouth just to get used to it and stuff, but you will get used to it. And you have to take a key and you have to turn it. And I don't even want to talk about that because I get so grossed out at that. Um, so... Yeah, that was my expander, and the spacer looks like this. And then I got braces. Um, here we go. Alright. Do you guys see 
that blue thing. Wait for it to focus, 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 focus. The blue thing right there, yeah, that's the spacer. So yeah, the expander is not fun. I'm just going to say that it's not fun and I was so happy to get that out. I had to wear my expander for like almost, I had to wear it for like a year. And normally you don't have to, but since we were in the process of moving a lot, it was, it was not fun. Um, so yeah, next question. Oh yeah, number four, what kinds of food do you eat when you first got your braces on? Yogurt, milkshakes, ice cream was my best friend, like, during it. Um, yeah, yogurt, ice cream, milkshakes, um, and to go healthy, mashed potatoes. Any food that is soft and not crunchy, chewy, sticky, or any kind of those foods, just start off with hard candies. So you really have to go, like, all soft food or, you know, that type of stuff because it is a pain in the butt to eat potato chips when you, like, first get your braces on or something like that, some crunchy food. You know, chicken, that's soft, too, just, like, where you can gnaw on it. Um, they do say that celery, I guess, numbs kind of the pain. So if you can, gnaw on it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so you just got to eat soft foods. And expanders, you're going to need to eat soft foods. First time I got my expander... I went to go drink something, and you can't, you have to use a straw, because it feels really weird to drink out of it just like regular, so I took a straw, and I was talking on the phone to my friend, and I'm like, hey, I gotta call you back, I gotta get used to, you know, how to drink again, and she's like, oh my gosh, are you seriously kidding me, so it, it was hilarious, I had to call her back, because I'm sitting there, and every time I would um, suck on the straw to get you know, the drink in my mouth, it would all spit back out because it was like, grr, get down there, you know. You gotta get used to it, so. Um, it takes a while, but you'll get used to it. Number five. How often do you get your adjustments? Once a month. Six weeks? Is that a month? I don't know. Maybe. That was bad. So about a month. Do you, number seven, no, I'm all lost. Number six, do you wear rubber bands? Comments about them. No, I don't. I think I'm going to have to. And they just put, like, um, like, if you see right there, this probably looks really ugly right now. But if you see, like, these things and those things and some in the back, the rubber bands have to be put on your mouth. Which I'm not looking forward to that because I think i got to get some. Um, but um bum 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 Number seven. How many times a day do you brush with your braces? Do you have any tips to prevent the little white squares on your teeth? I've got a bunch of things here to show you guys. First off, my toothbrush. I think this... I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing. This is what the I think the orthodontist gave me. If you guys can see that. And then this is just... This is my toothbrush. Ouch. Just a soft bristle brush. Nothing fancy. I probably should be using more of a nice one. And then this is just, I don't know. I mess around a lot with my toothpaste because I just can't find the right one. It's Kids Crest. How awesome is that? Like, seriously? It's cavity protection. Cavity protection. I don't have any cavities, so. I don't know. That didn't. I hope that didn't come off rude. But, um. And then this stuff, because I was about to have a cavity. And this helps the little white squares and stuff on your teeth. And the little white. Um, not plaque, but kind of plaque buildup. That sounds disgusting. It's called Prevident 500 Plus, and you only brush at night. And um, you use this at night, and it just um, sodium fluoride prescription strength toothpaste. It helps to uh, for those little white squares. And then um, that would be that question number eight. How often do you get your brace tighten, braces tighten? Every time I go to the orthodontist. Um, number nine, do you get to pick your colors? Yes, they give you a little, I don't know, thing with color sw swatches on it. So they got any, all different colors of the rainbow. Um, number ten, how long did you have your braces for? I've had them for... 16th, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. I've had my braces for about 11 months, sorry. 11 months so far, and I get them off next, excuse me, next, I get them off for like 5 to, sorry, 5 to 8 months, so I'm really excited. Um, number 